It wouldn't be a far stretch of the imagination to think we might be in France. Lauren, hi. Hi, welcome. Oh, this is lovely. I feel like I've just arrived at a chateau in Provence. I'm very glad to hear that because that was exactly my idea. Wonderful. <laughs> well, come in and let Thank me show you, you around. As you can see, this is the central hub of our home. I'm an avid entertainer, so there's nothing nicer for me than to have 14 of my friends or family members around the table and then move across to the lovely fire. I'm a bit of a pyromaniac, so I have a lot of fireplaces in my home and I have a lot of fires going all the time too. I noticed you've brought the Provencal theme into the house in terms of furniture and decor. Definitely. I have an absolute passion for France. My late husband and I used to holiday there every year, sometimes twice a year, and I'm inspired by everything that comes from there in terms of decor, antiques, paintings, fabrics. So yes, you'll find it throughout my home. I do notice a lot of antique pieces around. Are they all real? They are, Nico. I have a passion for them. I'm always trawling the shops, finding interesting pieces. The lampstands, you can see, are from France as well. This urn over here is a mold for the lamps in Paris. And there's a lovely chest of silver cutlery in the corner, which is very special to me and bought at auction. And what about the artwork? There are some bare walls. I'm in the process of collecting specific pieces for each one. But, for instance, that was bought by my late husband for me at auction. And I've kept very sentimental pieces painted by family and friends around the house. You'll notice there's lovely flow throughout the house. I was quite adamant about that. And this, Nico, is the heart of our home. It says here, every cook needs a good kitchen. Oh, and this is a very good kitchen. I see we have a little cook here as well. Hi, Nico. Hi. <laughs> what are you making for us this morning, Juliet? Pancakes. I love pancakes. Do you mind if I have a... Not yet. Oh, I see uh, she's definitely her mother's daughter. Uh, that is for sure. They're very much like their mom. And in that regard as well, they love spending time in the kitchen with me. We cook together. We plan our meals from early in the morning to, to see what we're going to eat at the end of the day. And in winter, I have a fire going from early in the morning. So the, the whole space is lovely and warm. We cuddle on the couches. Someone's playing on the piano. And there's always something lovely in the oven. My kind of house. I love my house, Nico. I really do. I thought long and hard about every single space. And one of the other spaces that I wanted to show you were our bedrooms. Come and have a look. Don't burn that. They've called their welcoming double-storey home Soliette, a combination of the names of Lauren's two daughters, Sophia and Juliet. Well, Nico, now you can see why I very seldom want to leave my bedroom. The brief I gave Jackie, the architect, was to create a very open space where the bedroom and the bathroom were incorporated together. The open trusses also create a lovely feeling of double volume, depth and grandeur, but at the same time give it that country cottage feel. What about the decor? Well, the decor you can see again is I've brought in the antiques as well. Uh, the chandelier above my basin is actually from my previous home, which I've incorporated there. And I've, in all the bathrooms, I've taken antique dresses and I've simply put a marble top on with a basin on top. Have you used the same feel in terms of style for the other bedrooms? Absolutely. My daughters are very much like me. They're also very close in age. They're only 15 months apart. So their bedrooms literally mirror each other as well. And they each have a double bed with a bunk bed on top because they're always having their friends over for sleepovers. Speaking of the girls, I'm just going to check up on them and I'm sure you'd love to chat to Jackie, the architect. She's actually in the garden and we can catch up after. Perfect. The garden, designed by Tirza Stubbs, has wide open spaces that match the scale and design of the home by architect Jackie Cattell. I see you're admiring your handiwork. I don't blame you. It's an incredible house. Yes, I'm really happy with it. It's, it worked out really well. What was Lauren's brief exactly? Lauren wanted a beautiful family home for her two girls. She wanted lots of beautiful spaces that her children felt that they could really be children in the actual environment. Um, and I think she had traveled extensively. She wanted to incorporate as much French detailing as possible. And I had an idea of my favorite architecture is Cape Farm type architecture. So we looked at, at ways of how we could incorporate the two that, that really fitted well into Cape Town. Were there any specific challenges? There was an existing house on the property and we wanted to retain it as much as possible for the foundations. And that was fairly hard because it was, it was situated right in the middle of the site. Um, so we turned the challenge into an opportunity and we created two very different types of outdoor spaces. And I think that's when the landscaping came into it. 
because we also wanted to pick up the French detailing in the gardens um, and we had these amazing water features and Lauren had this lovely idea of being able to plant herbs to create veggie gardens um, so the whole house became a holistic thing where you could go out to the garden experience the garden come inside and um, yeah and I think it worked out really really fantastically I must agree definitely a very successful team effort is that piano music I hear I'm going to go investigate. It was lovely meeting you. Enjoy. Having played piano for three years, Juliet's younger sister Sophia is passionate about the art form. While she studies piano as a subject at school, she can often be found working out a tune or teaching herself a classic. What? I thought that was you. Was that you playing? My word. What song is that? I made it up. Is that your own song? Yes. What's it called? London Rain. Oh my goodness. So it really does run in the family. It does? That's incredible. Now you can have a pancake. Uh, are, are you sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sophia, do you mind playing us another song while we eat pancakes? Or oh, shall I say crepes? Sure. Beautiful music and a French-style crepe by the fire. Lauren Searle's magnificent French-inspired house is most certainly a family home with lots of heart. Mm -hmm.